hibiscus. Thanks, Buck. Our first stop today is here in Lake Placid at CNM Marine Products. And I'm looking for a dock box for my pontoon project boat. I saw John Kriska's boat. He put a couple of dock boxes on it, and this is a company that manufactured them. And I thought that was a great idea. I want to do the same thing. Now, he also hired this company to make dock boxes for his marina. Do you remember the restoration that we did at Blowing Rocks Marina? Okay. Well, here's the owner of CNM Marine Products. This is Mark Winslow. Hey, John. And thank you for having us, Mark. Welcome. Now, here's kind of what I'm doing on the pontoon mm -hmm. boat. I have now a vinyl bench seat configuration, brand new, that I want to put into the boat. Okay. I've got a helm chair that I want to put behind your center console. Mm -hmm. Okay. And out forward, I have two pedestal bases kind of mounted right. into the deck. I want to remove those and maybe put the dock box over top of them. Okay. Okay. I'm thinking maybe this size dock box might be perfect. How, how, how long is it? How wide is it? And how tall is okay, it? Okay, well, this box here is 48 inches. Okay, it's 48 inches wide. It's 20 inches front to back, and it's 18 inches tall. You know, I've been at a lot of marine stores, and I've seen a lot of dock boxes, fiberglass, mm -hmm. in my life. Okay? I've always seen them pretty much white. Yeah. I've never seen a colored dock box. Hey. I'm looking around here. I see beige, yellow, black, seafoam, green. Right, right. Can you make any color? You can make any color you can imagine. Okay, that's, that's really unique. Yeah. Because what I'm thinking about is maybe in my dock box, maybe we could do a color scheme. You got any sure. idea? You, you've seen pictures of the I boat. saw a picture of your boat. It's got the, the cream color vinyl, and you've right. got a um, forest green striping going through the vinyl. Right. Uh, this particular box, I think, will work fine for it. What I would suggest, let's paint the bottom or gel coat the bottom uh, the cream color. Cream. Okay, this will be the bottom will be cream, and then we can bring in the forest green that's in that striping, and we'll do the lid on the top. How, how, how tall is the box? It's 18 because inches it, tall. I want it to double as some seating, Mark. Right. Well, it's a good okay. height, John. It's 18 inches high. Take a seat. I think you'll like that. That feels comfortable, right? Yeah, it does. Okay. M maybe I can put some type of a seating pad over top of it. Sure. We'll figure that out. Yeah, a lot of but, guys are uh, doing that, too. So you could two-tone this thing. Yep. Hey, um, I know that the manufacturing shop is, is back behind us. We're here in your showroom. What's the process? How, how, how do you build a fiberglass dock box? Well, you've seen us do plugs and molds. So you start with your mold, and it's all prepared, and you're going to go ahead and we're going to shoot the gel coat in it, and that's the color that we're going to pick. So we're going to gel coat it first, let it dry, and then we're going to go in there, and we're going to lay the fiberglass up in there. So you pull them out of the mold once they're cured. Do, do you have to trim them? Yeah, once it's done, it's pulled out of the mold. There's a sacrificial flange that's there that helps us pull it out of that mold. We'll take that over, we'll have that trimmed, and then it goes over to assembly, and we'll put it all together there. Okay, why am I seeing, if you take a look on the inside of this, mm -hmm. why do I see the white gel coat and all that haphazard black? Kind of looks like Picasso in there. Yeah, on. that's actually a webbing solution. It's a webbing solution mixed with gel coat, and that's sprayed into the, into the part right at the end. As we're white gel coating, that comes in right afterwards. Okay, so it's kind of like a splatter paint thing. It's it to trick is. your eye if dirt gets in there. Yeah. Check out these vents on the side right here. Are these stainless steel? Yeah, they all are stainless steel. What, what's the function? If you've got a, a wet life jackets or wet dock lines and you put them in the box and you don't have any ventilation, they can mold in there. So right. this is going to allow air to circulate. So with the variety of size dock boxes mm -hmm. and, and the different tops, the different lids, the different color selection available, literally the, the choices are endless. How, how would somebody at home get a hold of you? Go on our website, cmmarineproducts.com.